Hey guys, I um, made a very quick video tutorial on um, how to make uh, a tank top uh, very quickly uh, to get you started and not spend time thinking about making things work instead of doing the actual model. Uh, let's say for instance you have a client, you model a t-shirt on your model and the client wants it to have a tank top and this is a way to do a mock-up of a tank top um, and show it to clients in under 20 minutes very fast even if you don't intend to do cloth sim uh, learning about cloth modifier can speed up your work or your workflow it speeds up mine so uh, you might want to have a look hope you learn, learn something by this by the end of the video Hey guys, um, so now we start using a template. Uh, you don't have to use a template uh, if it's something very basic. Uh, I didn't have to use a template for this. I know approximately how a tank top works, uh, but for visibility's sake and for you know everyone who isn't familiar with uh, cloth too much, a uh, template is always fast and reliable. Um, made this in Photoshop, uh, nothing much to it. Uh, you want to start using splines. I always start using a rectangle, convert it into a spline because it already has the closed shape. Uh, then I refine it using corner to start with and then convert it to uh, Bezier curves as I go. Um, you want every piece of your cloth to be on the same level. So here it's world space and the front view. You want the shape to be perfectly flat or you'll get errors. You, you want to avoid overlapping as well. Um, and then once you're done making the shape, you select every vertice that uh, you think will be a part of a seam. So if you want to um, connect the, the two, the, the edge of the tank top on the top, you just select those two on the top and you hit break. And you want to do that for every um, every vertices um, that's going to be used to make seams. You can select every vertices and break everything and it's, it's not an issue if you don't want to if you don't want to bother with making uh, um, perfect seams uh, from the get-go it's not an issue. You can fix that very easily later on. It's If you don't want to bother with it just break everything. It's, it'll, it'll work fine. Um, uh, there I tried to add a little piece of geometry but um, a detail on the color I was thinking about adding some more detail but it's not really useful uh, and it's certainly not useful for this video so I, I just dropped that uh, later on uh, once you're done with your um, with your uh, spline you want to attach uh, every spline to a single object and then you want to apply the uh, garden maker. Uh, you want to give it some density. Um, the slower, the more density you have, the slower it gets, of course. Uh, but uh, since uh, here, for instance, it's a female model with um, the the nipples are modeled in. So if there isn't enough density, the the nipples will pop through the cloth, and it's it's not very uh, useful. And once you you're done with the the spline, you can uh, you just scale it in front of your model. Approximately, um, the closer you match the silhouette, the tighter the the, the cloth will be. It's, uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly in front. Here I'm breaking all the vertices I want to be using as sim uh, seams. Sorry. Um, and apply uh, yep, garment maker, change the density. Now you want to go into the panels and you want to go in perspective view, it's easier, and just roughly put the panels into place. And don't forget to rotate or else you'll have to s flip some faces later on. Just put them roughly into place. Then you select every seam you want, so every edge you want to be a part of the seam, you select those two and click in, see. Um, 
if uh, there's a, it says it's not within the tolerance range, you just crank it up to one or two. I use um, centimeters, um, so one max unit is, is one centimeter. Okay, once you're done with your garden maker, um, once all the seams are in place, uh, you, you can s see that very easily with the, the green lines. You add a cloth modifier on top of that, and then you add um, every object that are going to be a part of the simulation. So here are the I'm, I'm just going to add the body uh, as a collision object. Uh, since I'm working in um, in uh, max unit one centimeter in depth and offset, offset I'm going to put uh, 07 or 06, um, something just below one one uh, unit so the, the, the cloth isn't floating too far apart. Uh, if you put these settings too low, you'll get interpenetration. You don't want that, so it's a matter of tweaking. But usually, in if your units are set correctly, it should work fine. For the cloth, you just say, select cloth and default. It works fine in most cases. Uh, then you just hit uh, sim local, and uh, it should... Um, it should start, uh, and it should work fine if uh, if everything is set up pr properly, or else it's just a matter of tweaking your units and make sure everything is proper scale. Um, uh, once you you don't want to hit simulation, or else that would start start the animation. Uh, you want to hit sim local or sim damped. Never really use sim damped. Uh, sim local works fine. Um, uh, you might want to turn off gravity depending on the cloths you're making. I usually li li leave it on, works just fine for me. So you let the sim run for a bit. Um, it might look a bit slow here, but I'm I actually slowed down the video because there's so much information to give. Uh, uh, once everything looks correct, no weird bumps, no interpenetration, no polygons popping out from everywhere. Uh, once you think it's settled a bit, you just go down in the, um, the cloth panel and, and you uncheck use uh, sewing springs. And uh, what I'll do is uh, the next time you uh, click sim local, um, all the sewing springs, all the, the seams, the green seams, will be uh, changed into um, to edges and it'll make the, the cloth uh, stick together, basically. That's what I'm going to do now. Um, yeah, yeah. So you just click it and just let it settle for a while. And, well, there you go. You have a, a tank top. Um, now, from now on, um, basically you could just use this as a, to show to your client, or you could go uh, a bit further with this. It's up to you now. Uh, what you can now do is use that as a um, as a template for a, a new topology. Um, that way, you can sculpt extra details and details in ZBrush or whatever, um, because this has already pretty good UVs and all fine for background character but if you apply a turbo smooth on um, you'll get a lot of bumpiness and might not always be too good for a close-up character depends um, you can always try it it's a, it's a time saver but um, I would make a new topology and just sculpt whatever uh, skin wrap it to the original cloth model to get the animation uh, it's just uh, I just use it to speed up things. So here's the the final uh, topology. Not not the the best in the world, but uh, it'll do just fine for um, for what I have to do with it. Um, hope uh, you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you learned something, and um, maybe I'll I'll do an, another one of the, these videos if, if it wasn't too clear with this one.